So today we will discuss how to make a responsive power apps which will be totally responsive on all the device whether it be a mobile the tablet or it's a uh, you can say iPad so it will be responsive in all the aspects and all all the uh, horizontally vertically as, as well so for uh, demonstrate that i want to i just take a use case of one of the applications which i named as a speaker hub platform so basically uh, this is a platform where uh, any speaker comes and submit the request if you want to speak in uh, one of the community so community members like he can uh, validate it and they can approve it or reject it on the basis of the uh, uh, information he shared let's say uh, in this uh, screen you can see a snapshot where james submitted a request he is a technical lead he has total six recognitions and total two events he speak and he is a keynote speaker and it is approved by alex and aryan and we have a detail button also and it is approved but here uh, michael submit a request but it is uh, rejected by john so this is a platform where, where uh, any user comes and uh, he can like submit a request and community members can take action uh, and we have also made like uh, approval history logs comment and etc so let me quickly uh, share you the first of all so it is uh, responsive on uh, ipad horizontal vertical as well as tab view and the mobile view let's quickly go go to the application and we will understand the better way so as i told you we can also see the logs by uh, hovering that icon so i will come later on that part so let's quickly uh, open that in editor mode and i will explain you each and everything so first of all uh, before it uh, i want to tell you uh, for making this responsive screens we need to take uh, by default some screens which is modern screen which is provided by power platform which is pre built uh, you can say responsive screens so this is one of them uh, where we have take this uh, header and gallery uh, screen which is totally responsive build and uh, which contain uh, responsive containers thanks to this header container and the main container so uh, for my case uh, i did not have this image in my list so i remove in that my case so let quickly uh, come back on my uh, app where i will explain you each and everything let me scroll left so that you can see properly so here you can see uh, in the main screen we have uh, this uh, vertical containers uh, first is a header one uh, where we can add it as per our requirement like here i had title uh, add a title speaker hub platform we can show and hide the title as per our requirement we can add a logo and in my case i had uploaded the logo of this one this square type logo which is microsoft logo and uh, we can show hide as well that we can add a tool tip we can add a profile picture as you can see on the right side so we can update that also as our need so right now i just add as a user dot image which is a microsoft 5 uh, functions to get the logged user properties so and the next next container is main container which uh, uh gallery container where is the main container is a title container which which is the house of all the controls you can say that where i just uh, add a speaker name which is a modern control you can find it uh, in this in the search bar by typing a text so these new uh, modern controls are very helpful to, uh, in these kind of scenarios after that i use the job description with same uh this uh, text control model text control and after it i added total recognition same uh, model control text control which you can find same in the same way where i mentioned a, a string total recognition as a heading and then concatenate it uh, with my column name so let me show you my list also so that you can understand well as a backend so here uh, we have like speaker information speaker name speaker status so that uh, we are using power automate so but to, in the today's call i will explain Uh, the power apps part, which is how to make it responsibly, uh, fully responsive. So speaker status, allowed speaker is a internal speaker or a guest or a external. He is approved by uh, that details we are maintains approval matrix details and the main important thing the comments and all uh, who who like logs and audit history and the decision taking. Like uh, out of uh, these number of approvers, uh, two are taken action. That's it. So let's come back on the app. and uh, so after this recognition we have a we have a requirement where we have to add two things in this container responsive container so one is a total event which is a uh, again a 
modern tax control and the another which wage control which is a very helpful or is a kind of very uh, attractive control so you can find it by searching a batch keyword so here it is so here in this batch control we have uh, applied some condition for its color so there is a property name as base patlet color so here you can find uh, we have used switch function which is uh, uh, column uh, this item dot column name if the value is this then color is purple if the values of the status is uh, st uh, team speaker then the value is green so we have write the conditions of the color code on the dynamic basis so we do not need to uh, write it manually so it is dynamic as per your column value and after that uh, we have a button container uh, where we have uh, add one more the one of the important control that is tab list control so let me show you that also so when you uh, when you type tab list so you can find this control let me show you the properties of this tab list how i made uh, how i made this let me show you first what it will do so it will contains all the approval details approval metric detail in this case you can see adley is approved but uh, john is rejected so this is a tab list view control let me show you the formula and the function for that so when you click it, uh, there is an item name property where I use a for all loop and uh, I made some conditions. So as you can see, uh, there are icons like this approved icon and uh, the rejected icon. So these are come on the uh, on this condition basis. So if the speaker to status value is approved, then this icon, and if it is re rejected, then rejected icon. Else that is third case uh, under process. So we can show this image. So it is our totally a requirement. And uh, we have uh, also have a decision taking column, so we are added a one uh, number one, like a one count on the current decision taken. So let's quick, really come back, and uh, we have some detail button, and the last not the least uh, header control. So that is also you can find it in the modern uh, modern control. You can search like profile, and you can find that control. Let me show you the property of that also. Here's our header control. And uh, so here, uh, few things I want to tell you. First of all, on hovering, we can see the approval audit history. So in the list, we have this approval history column, which we are maintaining using Power Automate. So that I had mentioned in that user name, you can find it here also, user name. So this item dot approval history. Similarly, we can uh, we as in my list only uh, uh, I don't have images for all the approvers, so I used uh, mine one. So you can make uh, as per your like if you have like number of accounts, so you can make as per the approvers uh, account also. Similarly, uh, we have uh, one more property for this uh, profile control that is uh, base palette color so which i had also write a condition switch function if this item speak uh, speaker uh, status value is approved then green else uh, if it is uh, rejected then red if it is in the process then golden red and uh, one more thing uh, we can uh, use height and width of these control uh, using a parent dot template uh, parent dot template height parent dot template with. So that is uh, most important because in this responsive case, uh, it will take your parent uh, as we are using containers. So it will take uh, your parent container. Like in this case, we have like details and Alex. Similarly, total events, we have two uh, different controls. So if uh, so, we have to write as per the parent template with. Mm -hmm.